Hello everyone, welcome to Something's Cooking with Appa and we make so many kinds of rice, jeera rice, lemon rice, masala rice, but in our Indian household, we rarely make the Indo-Chinese fried rice. So let's make your kitchen your family's favorite restaurant by making restaurant style veg fried rice. And let's look at what we're going to need to make this. Here is what you're going to need. You're going to need about 90% cooked basmati rice or you can use any rice that you have in your house. So let me tell you guys how I cooked this rice. Basically, I just rinsed the rice and kept it aside for half an hour. Then I kept a lot of water for boiling. Once the water started boiling, I added some salt and that rinsed rice and I cooked it till the time the rice was 90% done. After that, I drained that rice, applied a little oil so that the rice doesn't stick to each other and then I let it cool down to room temperature. Now let's move on. For the vegetables you're going to need one third cup of onion, one fourth cup of green onion bulb, one third cup of carrot, half cup of cabbage, half cup of capsicum, one third cup of green onions. Now I've finely chopped these vegetables. You're also going to need one four teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of ginger paste and one and a half teaspoon of garlic paste. You also going to need some seasonings and sauces. I have used one teaspoon of Chinese seasoning. Now if you can't find this, it is okay. This is optional. You are going to need one teaspoon of tomato sauce, half teaspoon of vinegar, two and a half teaspoon of soya sauce and one teaspoon of green chili sauce. So this is all you're going to need to make the veg fried rice. And guys, for the exact measurements and their quantities, do visit me on my website, which is www.somethingscookingwithalpa.com. And please subscribe and support us. Okay guys, now in a wok, I've already added some oil and it is nice and hot and now it's time for us to add the ginger and the garlic paste and we are going to stir this around for the next 10 to 15 seconds now guys remember whenever you are making chinese food the flame always has to be on high after 15 seconds let's add the onions the green onion bulbs and the carrots we are now going to cook this for the next two to three minutes. Make sure to stir it in intervals. Also guys, I highly recommend that you use a big wok or the biggest vessel that you have to make Chinese food because that evenly distributes the heat and makes your Chinese food taste like restaurant style. So the onions and the green onion bulbs and the carrots are cooked for two minutes. Now it's time for us to add the capsicum, the green onion greens and the cabbage. Now let's mix it all in. Now you'll ask me why did I add these vegetables later? That is because these vegetables take little less time than the carrots and the onions and we still want to retain that crunch of the vegetables. That is why I added it later. And now we are going to cook them for the next two minutes. Don't forget to stir in intervals. So after two minutes, it's time to give our veggies some taste by adding our spices and our sauces. So first goes in the black pepper, followed by the Chinese seasoning, then the tomato sauce, vinegar, and of course some soya sauce followed by some green chili sauce, a little bit of salt and guys be very careful on the amount of salt that you add to our vegetables because the sauces that we are using already contain a lot of high amount of salt. So you don't want your dish to be extra salty. You can always taste towards the end and add some if you need it. 
Now mix all of this together. Let all the sauces get incorporated with our vegetables. And oh my God, my kitchen is smelling so amazing. The aroma is just absolutely heavenly. It is making me hungry already. So now guys, let's add our rice and be very gentle. As it is cooked rice, it can break easily. So be gentle and now let's mix it in. And once the rice is covered with the sauces and the vegetables, let's turn off the flame and it's time to serve. And isn't it looking amazing? I simply can't wait. So I am digging in. Mmm. Absolutely restaurant kind. You guys have to make this recipe today and you have to let me know on my Facebook page or tag me on my Instagram, take a picture and I would love to see what you have made. And guys, if you want to make, want me to make any more other Chinese recipes, do let me know and I will see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.